to be accurate, an assessment needs two elements – a robust methodology and correct data. The latter is the Achilles heel of the EU carbon leakage assessment as proposed by the European Commission. The methodology is right, but the European Commission proposes to use statistics data collected at NACE4 only. In some cases, NACE4 groups a large range of different economic sectors. In other cases, it mixes together activities covered and not covered by the EU ETS. These non-EU ETS activities can weigh heavily on the carbon leakage risk assessment and give inaccurate information to the legislator. The flat glass sector exposure to risk of carbon leakage and focusing on the activities covered by the EU ETS reaches 1.93. However, when using NACE4 data and thus computing downstream activities not covered by the EU ETS, the exposure falls by nearly 50%. NACE4 provides a wrong picture. This reality gap can be easily filled in the legislation. For the flat glass industry, data is available at PRODCOM 8 level to focus on EU ETS activities. A simple reference to PRODCOM 8 in Article 10b next to NACE 4 would be sufficient to correct the system and ground it in sectoral realities 